Coming to you from Phoenix College, I'm Ashley Neville, and it's time to go inside Maricopa Sports. On this edition of Inside Maricopa Sports, Phoenix College basketball star Brandon Brown beats the odds after his life took a wrong turn. Mike Caratanuto catches up with the reigning national champion head coach Tony Sorelli of the Mesa baseball team. PC softball continues to dominate while both the PC men's and women's basketball teams compete in the national tournament. All coming up on Inside Maricopa Sports. Stay tuned. A single ember from a wildfire can travel over a mile. That ember can ignite and destroy your home or community. You can't control where that ember will land. Only what happens before it does. Visit fireadapted.org to learn how you can help protect your community from wildfires. Just a minor setback would pave the way for a major comeback as Brandon Brown takes full advantage of his second chance at life. Brandon Brown is one of the most celebrated basketball players at Phoenix College. But it didn't start out that way. After a promising basketball career at Cesar Chavez High School, Brown's hopes and dreams as a basketball player were put on hold. I was hanging out with the wrong crowd, wrong people at the wrong time, and got into a little bit of trouble. He spent two and a half years in a corrections facility for his involvement with an armed robbery. But Brandon turned his life around and took control of life with the help and support of his high school coach and mentor, Gary Lee. Gary Lee is one of the best coaches I've ever had. He's like a dad on and off the court. It's the same person every time, no matter what. Uh, I love him. He's just a great coach. Lee has remained a big part of Brown's life, even while Brown served his time. We talk about what was going on in his daily life and, and how he was handling it and talked about the future. You know, a lot of it was go to PC and, and start fresh and, and try to prove himself. Brown enrolled at Phoenix College in the spring of 2013 to pursue an education and play basketball. His success took off from there as he led the Bears to its first national title his freshman year. It meant the world. <laughs> Just coming from where I came from to winning a national championship and being the MVP of the tournament, nothing could touch me. <laughs> Just to see him have a second opportunity to uh, show his talents playing basketball, just to get his degree uh, here at Phoenix College and move on. Uh, and for him to be just unbelievably successful doing it, it it's fun to watch. It's Gordon recruited Brandon in high school and saw his potential as a point guard. His work ethic, his drive to be successful, and he's the ultimate competitor. Brown never let his past define him. He used it as motivation to not only become a better basketball player, but to become a better student as well. It made me a way better student. I, get, I got good grades since I've been here. I take school a lot more serious. Brown believes his experience, both good and bad, has given him a reputation. I made a huge turnaround in my life. I did a lot of great things here at this school, and I, I think I had a lot of success. Coach Lee says Brown's achievements are an inspiration to the kids at Cesar Chavez High School. We take our kids over to Phoenix College to watch him play. He'll come here for open gym and play with our kids and they, they really like watching him play. Brown shares some advice to those who look up to him. Stay focused on whatever it is that you're trying to do and go for it. Brown's mental toughness allows him to persevere and take full advantage of his second chance at life. Brown led the Bears to another national tournament this year where they placed third. Expect continued success from the 23-year-old who has interest from many major colleges. Next on Inside Maricopa Sports, Mike Caratanudo catches up with the Mesa Community College baseball team. This new dad is picturing a treehouse in the sky. 
but he's ignoring, ignoring the instructions. instructions. Good luck, big guy. His kids know that he's building without a clue. Never been so good with nails and glue. Now we're trapped inside a box. I hope mom knows what to do. Oh. Oh. See, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect parent. Thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are. Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. The pressure is too much. I quit. I get it. I can do better. Just please, don't leave. Don't let your heart quit on you. Get your uncontrolled high blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. Don't worry. The 74 people were picked before me in the NFL draft. To fight childhood obesity, United Way and the NFL are helping kids play at least 60 minutes a day. Okay, time for the team obstacle course. Yay! What this place needs is more healthy kids. To get involved or donate, go to unitedway.org slash play60. Now I get it. Last season brought the Mesa Community College baseball team and head coach Tony Sorelli their first national title. Sorelli reflects on what winning that championship meant to him in his interview with Mike Caratanudo. Tony Sorelli has been MCC's head baseball coach for 21 years. And in that time, the program has had both team and individual success. But the one thing missing from Coach Sorelli's resume was a national championship. Well, the 2014 team delivered that, and it's an experience that feels surreal to him. It's hard to uh, comprehend still. You know, I mean, there were so many things that had to go right. The kids just they played great on, on, on the days they had to. So we, we got a lot of breaks and balls bounced our way. The championship was a battle to win because Mesa lost their first game and would have to win five in a row to win the title. But Coach Sorelli and his staff didn't change their message to the team from the beginning of the season. And our big thing the whole year was play against the game. So, you know, we don't get caught up in who we're playing or where we're playing or the situation. If you play it in small portions and win an inning at a time, and then at the end of the game you look up and hopefully you're on the right end of the score. For Coach Sorelli, the alumni are an important aspect to the program. From coming out to practice and talking with the team, to working with the players on the field, and helping out when the team is on the biggest stage. I watched probably three or four of the games online when they were playing, and uh, and I text Rose one game, and I was telling him like, hey, the pitcher's doing this, you know, doing that, like trying to help him out, you know, to be able to watch it over the internet and see him succeed, and you know, finally get that ring. And I mean, it was it was definitely you know an awesome experience. For sophomore pitcher Evan Fresquez, the joy of winning a national title was even sweeter since the team got Coach Sorelli his first. Something that we worked really hard for. I know that it sounds like he's worked very hard for being here for so long and never given up. And uh, he always believed in us. And so we wanted to give him everything that we got. And we left it all on the field and brought back the title. Winning a national championship means a lot to Coach Sorelli. But it's not what validates his coaching career. The life lessons and the successes former players have off the field is just as important. You know, being respectful to everybody, you know, his stuff about, you know, standing for the national anthem, you know, don't move until, you know, the entire thing's over. I still do that today. To see that they're, they're, they're huge in the community, uh, that they're good fathers and good husbands, that, that's very rewarding. We've been to, you know, Coach Rose and I have been to a lot of weddings. Um, and that's really an honor to me to, for someone to ask me to come to their big day. MCC fans should be excited to know that Coach Sorelli has no intention to retire anytime soon. I really don't have any hobbies besides Mesa baseball. So, um, you know, I tell people when I was 10 years old, I couldn't wait to get out of school. So I go to the ballpark. I'm 56 years old and I can't wait to get out of school so I can go to the ballpark. Mike Caratanudo for Inside Maricopa Sports. MCC carried last year's success over to this season as they sit atop of the ACCAC standings. Now we turn our attention to another team dominating their conference, the Phoenix College softball team. Over the past 14 years, the Phoenix College softball program won eight NJCAA national championships and 12 Region I Division II titles. But the Bears winning momentum stalled last season after Scottsdale Community College pulled off the upset to win the D2 Region 1 title and advanced to the national tournament. A moment that head coach Heinz Mueller used to his advantage. I learned from it, worked harder, recruited harder. Last year's loss motivated the Bears as they swept the artichokes in their season series. He reminded us like, hey, this is a team we lost to last year. They beat us on our home field, we can't do that. We can't do that again. 
Freshman Kennedy Garcia leads the NJCAA in saves and wins and ranks fifth in strikeouts. She has also earned several ACCAC Player of the Week honors. They mean a lot. It means like I'm actually doing something right here. <laughs> Garcia is playing a crucial role in PC success so far this season. The Bears are first in the ACCAC, but her focus isn't on the standings. I think we're number one right now so far. So <laughs> I kind of just don't think about it. So as long as they get the win, I'm happy. Sophomore catcher Morgan Leonard has also earned ACCAC Player of the Week honors and ranks third in the nation in RBIs and second in home runs. It really put a drive in me and uh, really showed me what a player I can be and have turned into. Leonard credits a lot of her success to Mueller and his coaching staff. This, the amount of confidence and how much they push you and how much they know that you're capable of. like. He'll send a text out after games and say, you did amazing, you did great. Not many coaches do that. Through communication, Coach Mueller sees that confidence building mental toughness and helping his team win games. If you get your team to learn how to come from behind and learn how to play through adversity, you got a pretty good shot because they're never down. Given PC's history and victorious reputation, Garcia knows she plays on a marked team but she doesn't let that stop her from playing her game. I definitely feel there is a target, but I don't, I don't let it bother me. It doesn't really faze me. I just play it one game at a time. The Lady Bears aren't intimidated by any opponent. I don't think we really think about a team that threatens us, really. I think we just go out there and uh, play uh, it inning by inning, pitch by pitch. Celebrating his 25th year as PC's head coach and having more than 1,000 wins under his belt, Mueller knows what it takes to win and be a national champion. One of the biggest things I always go by is uh, at the end of the season when it's regionals and nationals is let them have fun and let them play the game and get out of their way. For Inside Maricopa Sports, I'm Ashley Neville. Confident and focused, the Lady Bears strive to close out the season on a high note and bring home another national title. Stay with us on Inside Maricopa Sports both the Phoenix College men's basketball head coach Matt Gordon and the women's coach Christine Kincaid share their experiences in the national tournament. Which planet are we living on? Earth. Earth. Right here. What do you think it would be like to teach? Chances are you have no idea. Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, proving that greatness can be found in everyday places, and that you don't need to be famous to be unforgettable. That's what it's like to teach. A single ember from a wildfire can travel over a mile. That ember can ignite and destroy your home or community. You can't control where that ember will land, only what happens before it does. Visit fireadapted.org to learn how you can help protect your community from wildfires. After claiming their first men's basketball national title last year, the Phoenix College men's basketball team made another appearance to the national tournament but fell short of a title and took third place. It was really different um, and that everybody expected more of us. But it's fun. It's fun to, to have that challenge and, and our guys handled it really well. Uh, we just fell a little short, but it, you know, it was a great experience. Congrats to the men's basketball team on another successful season. Now on the women's side of basketball, the Bears hadn't been in the national tournament since 2003. But that all changed this year as five-year head coach Christine Kincaid and her team shocked Arizona by claiming the Region 1 title and then stunned the nation in the national tournament. It just really put things in perspective and, and that's what it's about is them realizing that, you know, all your hard work and all your effort, you know, that you put in throughout the year that, you know, again, it's going to pay off. So. You know, we're, we're already looking forward to next year. The 16 seeded Bears won two games in the national tournament to claim eighth place. Congrats to the Lady Bears. That's going to do it for this edition of Inside Maricopa Sports. For dates and times of our show, visit our website at maricopa.edu slash mctv. Check out our Facebook page for all news and updates, and visit our YouTube channel for all of MCTV's original programming. So for our entire Inside Maricopa sports team, I'm Ashley Neville. We'll see you next time.